in the message that was sent to me there was a lady who said her boyfriend was leaving her and she was not ready to let go why she is a married woman but unfortunately has a relationship outside her marriage unknown to her husband and she and her friend have gone somewhere to engage in a spiritual practice and they gave her some concussion which she mixed up for her husband and the husband has lost his manhood at the moment and now the boyfriend also says he has found love so he wants to detach himself from the lady and you would want to know why they did that when they came together in that relationship outside the lady's marriage the idea was for the two of them to find ways of justifying the lady's divorce with the husband so the two of them could get married she did it the man has lost his manhood she is still not divorced because she was oblivious of the intensity of the process of divorce She's not mastered the courage to go ahead. And she's still there. And the boyfriend says he has found love. So we should advise her. What advice do you want from us, lady? What advice do you want from us? When you took the decision with your friend... Did you get any advice from us? People, my idea is that this thing we call marriage has been instituted by God. That is my belief. And for that matter, we go into it trusting that we will do well and we end well till death do us part. If you are in there and you are uncomfortable whichever way or whatever is biting you for which you are uncomfortable and you take your own decision to leave then you do that without hurting your partner and be ready to bear the consequence because it is not an easy assignment that you would want to take upon yourself the idea to get your own freedom by way of getting divorced if you decide that that is the way you want to go then you will have to carry your own cross requesting for advice from us what do you want to hear pity or we should advise you that stay with your boyfriend because that is already illegitimate and you both have gone to jeopardize somebody's manhood. So if the man says he has found love, my dear, my advice to you is allow him to go wherever he wants to go and focus on your marriage because you caused it. I believe now the scales have fallen. You have realized that the guy was actually not taking you anywhere. My people, young ladies and young men today is a saturday so i chose to reach out to you on my key inspirations to share this with you please if you chose your partner to live with and for any reason you decide again that you cannot stay that should be your own headache do not jeopardize your partner before you leave that way you have two questions to answer. 
why you chose to break the relationship and also why you chose to break your partner. Already divorce itself is too heavy for the two people and their families. So you don't decide to be that callous. And any time you decide to take that journey of callousness, remember that it will come back to you. It will really, really come back to you. Now, the guy who lied to you that he, he loved you and that he was going to marry you is wanting out. In Akan, we say, you do not find free things in somebody's bowl. Or you do not find things on people's dining table for free. The guy gave you his dining table and you thought everything on that table was for free. Today, he has taught you that you have no brain. You have no, no brain. Wherever you are going for the advice from, go and ask for God's forgiveness for what you have done to your husband. And let us also take a cue from there that if you want to leave, that is my message. Leave with your troubles and allow the partner to be in peace. If one day he or she finds love, then that person can also continue. By you, the one with the diabolic idea, allow your partner to be. Live and let us also live. People, you may want to subscribe to this channel. Please press the subscribe button and hit the bell. So the next time we post a video, you will be first to hear, to see and watch. Please let me hear from you in the comment section. See you soon. Bye.